never know You never know Hey folks, uh, David Only here. This is You Never Know. I uh, was uh, out on the road in uh, Baton Rouge. Just drove down to Baton Rouge. Me and Dan, bass player, Dan Seymour. And played the gig and then drove back. So it's a lot of driving. It's a weird equation to do in this job. The amount of time you take getting there as compared to the amount of time you're actually on stage. Uh, on paper it looks like somebody is crazy. But I'm not crazy. Uh, okay, so we played the Red Dragon <coughs> listening room in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, thanks to Chris Maxwell. You know, how cool that guy is. And what a good thing he's doing. The Red Dragon listening room is that. It's a listening room. And it's just a throwback to uh, a time where people would would do that, would go someplace and just to listen to music. Now, music more and more is just becoming what goes on in the background while you're doing something else, which usually involves staring at your phone or something. Anyway, I'm so glad that Chris does does this. And also Colin Grace and uh, Steve, I hope I'm saying this right, Judas, uh, and his nickname is Juice, I know that. Um, he opened and did a great job. And, uh, just had, we had a good time. So, need help getting ready for Halloween? Uh, how about kicking it up a notch with a rock and post funeral march, my new graveyard stomp? Uh, that's a song I recorded over uh, uh, Mark Robinson's uh, God, a year ago. I can't remember when the hell we did that. But uh, it's got a, you know, horns and everything. It's a really cool version. Uh, and that's uh, on the, uh, okay, let me just read this. I've actually got three new singles released on Spotify and other digital services, meaning iTunes, Amazon, <coughs> CD Baby, heck, even DavidOnly.com. Uh, you know, when I say this stuff about Spotify, this is me actually talking, not reading. I might as well be reading uh, out of a French cookbook or something. I'm, I don't know what any of these words mean. Uh, I hope you do, and I hope you will listen and get in touch with me and tell me what's going on. Okay, give a listen to Graveyard Stomp as well as Thing of Beauty and Barefootin' and let me know what you think. And that's, I mean that sincerely. Someone mentioned that when I was talking about this last week, I didn't look like I really cared a whole lot about it. And I do, actually. I mean, that's Getting people to listen to you is, is, that's the name of the game as far as I'm concerned. And any way I can do that, it's, that's the way it's going to be. So beneath this uh, calm exterior is a just freaked out and totally enthusiastic and over-caffeinated uh, weirdo. Also, look for a special Spotify playlist created by me for each of these new songs. And every Wednesday, look for a new Free Fall with a with David Only playlist I created. Hence the name, David Only Playlist. Bah, bah. Okay, all made just for you. Your happiness, your happiness means everything to me. Okay, add these to your library and follow my artist page on Spotify. Coming up this week, we go early leaf peeping. Okay, October 24th in Nashville, North Carolina at the Isis Music Hall. October 25th, Lynchburg, Virginia at the Speaker Tree. October 26th, Washington, D.C. at the Lucky Penny Penny House Concert Series in Petworth neighborhood. And then in November, we're down in Little Rock and Dallas. Uh, Wild Detectives in Dallas, Texas and the Whitewater Tavern in Little Rock, Anderson Fair in Houston, the Old Quarter in Galveston, and the Camp Street Cafe in Crockett, Texas. And that's put on by the Gillette Brothers, uh, Pip and Guy. And I have a CD that these guys did that I, I just wore out. They are, you know, they're playing like old folk songs, but they do it 
there's a way you can do it. You can do it wrong and you just sound like uh, you're phoning it in, or you can do it right and sound like you really care. And these guys are great. Um, and the other thing about Crockett, Texas, is it has a statue. This is true. It has a statue of Lightning Hopkins, which is how cool was that? Okay. So, and then back in Nashville, November 23rd at Douglas Corner with the band. Okay. I'm thinking about haikus because it's fall. And, uh, so here's, uh, I think traditionally haikus were supposed to mention a season or some event in nature, which usually I don't, and the ones I've made up, I usually don't do it, but this one I did. Okay, here it is. So it's five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. So much left to do, so little time to do it, fall will be here soon. Okay, fall is here. It's not coming soon, it's here. Uh, the thing with haikus is you just don't have enough room. If you stay to the form, five, seven, five, you don't have enough time to show off. You just have enough time to look at something happening and and just kind of say it. You can't embellish it. There's not like a whole lot of adjectives. You know, you just got to like nouns and verbs pretty much. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, it's just... This one doesn't have a uh, mention of uh, natural events. <laughs> uh, this is pretty much unnatural. But recent events kind of make it possibly interesting. The politician washed the blood from his hands and saluted the flag. That's uh, for the folks uh, in Turkey, the Kurds. Okay, so let's do a song. <coughs> Sing all night long for 
from April to December. They used to dance the whole night through songs they can't remember. Why won't that fiddler play the tune like the way he used to? I used to feel it in my bones. It used to tear me inside out. James Robinson must turn right or else there's gonna be trouble. James Robinson must turn right to find his way back home. Ann Hutchison must turn left to keep this old world spinning. Ann Hutchison must turn left to find a way back home. Robinson must turn right, which when I first came to town there was a sign, it may still be there for all I know, that there's a James Robinson Parkway in uh, downtown by the courthouse, and there's a big sign that used to say, James Robinson must turn right. I remember thinking, what if your name was James Robinson? It's not that, uh, it's not that weird a name, I'm sure there's lots of people named James Robinson, and you just happen to be in Nashville. And you see this sign, James Robinson must turn right. Well, you'd probably be overwhelmed. You may still be out there going around the block, never able to get off. Uh, the, but the other thing is, <coughs> I was saying about contra dancing, kind of, you know, old timey, it's like square dancing. And the guys go one way and the women go the other. And the, there's couples, but they, they're constantly going in opposite directions, which is a pretty accurate metaphor <coughs> for the way things are between men and women, or between men and men, or women and women, between everybody. Everybody's going in the opposite direction, but we're all caught up in the dance, I guess is the deal. And anyway, when I do that song right, it's really fun to play. And uh, we played it at Baton Rouge a couple of nights ago, and I really had a good time playing it. Anyway. Take a look at this, uh, this side or the other, still selling them, still out there, still as good as it ever was. Okay, I'll see you next week. You never know. You never know. You never know.